everybody. Um, it's Angie Marchese here. Welcome to Memphis. Welcome to Graceland. Tonight's a night that we look forward to every year. And um, I've got a special guest with me tonight, Jack Soden, our CEO of Elvis Presley Enterprises. Hi, Jack. Hey, Angie. How's it going? It's, you know what? This is, as you know more than anybody, this is the most special night of the year for us. Every year, because Christmas meant so much to Elvis. And you're going to talk about that in a little while, which is just great. But now this is 38 years, this tradition, since Grayson opened in 82. And once again, as we were talking earlier, things always, things stay the same, and then they change. Yes, they do. And I mean, this year, you know, things look a little bit different. We're actually on the ground to Graceland to turn on the Christmas lights versus being in the plaza doing a celebrity uh, guest. Um, it's just you and me this year, Jack. Well, and, and, and of course, we have the same celebrity as always, which is Elvis. Always. And it's Elvis's Christmas, and it's just, anyway, the worldwide circumstances that caused us to be coming to all of our, our friends and fans virtually and, and love that. Yes, because we, we have people around the world that are, that are able to participate in the program this year live on Facebook. Do you remember the first time you saw Graceland at Christmas time? Well, yeah, it was actually it was the first Christmas in November that that we opened Graceland in June of '82, and we're able to pull together some of the most of the original decoration and uh, and the and the blue lights and etc. And so the first time was watching it come together in November of '82, and of course then we had. We had so many of Elvis's friends and relatives still with us, and but I think if I recall, we turned it on with a we, we made a, 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 a broomstick for a big handle uh -huh. and, and Aunt Delta Elvis's Aunt Delta through the uh, through the switch and the lights more or less all came on at the same time. <laughs> well, we went from a broomstick to a candy cane. Exactly. I, mean, I can remember my first Christmas. Um, I was a tour guide. And so it was really special because we were able to actually tell Christmas stories when we were in the mansion. And what's really cool is that this year we're going to be able to do the same thing, offering Christmas tours December 1st through 20th every afternoon. So it's going to be a very special Christmas season here. It really is. And, and as we said, because of, of the limitations relative to trying to be very, very compliant with safety for everybody, for our employees and our guests, it's really a wonderful time to embrace them because it's as close to the private tours or that we get. Yes, it's very limited groups and stuff. It's really like being a VIP. It is. Well, um, I guess it's up to us. Are you ready for the countdown? Yes. Five. Start. <laughs> we'll start with five. Okay, five. Ready? Okay. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Merry Christmas. Merry Happy holidays, everybody. And all Happy. the fans all over the world, we wish you were here with us. You know what? Since I'm sitting here on the lawn, I'm going to take Facebook and we're going to get a closer look at some of Elvis's Christmas ornaments. You do that. Okay. Thank you, Jack. All right. Thank you, Angie. So let's get over here to the North Lawn. You know, one of my favorite things about Christmas time is that we do get to see all of the beautiful decorations that Elvis did. And this being the very first piece of one of decorations that Elvis purchased in 1957. And if you wouldn't believe it, but this sign used to sit in the front yard of Graceland, wishing everyone who drove by a Merry Christmas to all. It also was on the very first Christmas cards that Elvis and the family sent out from Graceland in 1957. And the cost of this gorgeous piece, $300. Of course, the collection, we have not only the actual lawn ornament, but we have the checks and the receipt that paid for it. We have all of the reindeer represented, including the guy up front leading the sleigh, Rudolph. So this was really Elvis's way of wishing Memphis a uh, Merry Christmas. And we continue to do it every year. Um, we also have several original decorations that you'll see as we go up to the house, including the blue lights lighting the driveway. Elvis got this idea for the house in California. He had actually seen someone decorate their driveway with blue lights. And he called Vernon and said, hey, Dad, I want to do this at Graceland at Christmas. And Vernon joked that one day they were going to wake up and find an airplane landed on the front side because we're so close to the airport. The blue lights really look like it's a runway. 
the Christmas, Merry Christmas to all sign was moved to the North Lawn when Elvis started decorating the center of the yard with a nativity scene. That was in the 60s. The same nativity scene Elvis used, we continue to use today. Here at the house, we've got the colorful pencil trees, all festive and Christmas colors. And we actually decorate inside too. So as a special Facebook surprise tonight, we're going to take you inside Elvis Presley's grave for the next festival. You'll be the first ones to see it this year. Now, not only did we change the drapes from blue to red, we put up Christmas trees in almost every room. So come on, let's take a peek inside. Welcome to Graceland at Christmas. So all of us love the holidays and around Graceland, it really takes on kind of a new vibe here at Christmas time. It really becomes very festive, very homey. You can imagine Elvis and his friends exchanging Christmas presents around the Christmas tree here in the dining room. Lisa celebrating her first Christmas here with her dad, her granddad Vernon dressed as Santa Claus and then getting a tricycle and riding it around the dining room table eventually. The Christmas china is out on the table. And it really is just, it's very homey, and it just really represents who Elvis was as a person. He was very authentic, very hope, very humble, and he loved giving people gifts. He loved the, what they represented. He loved surprising people. He loved the look on their faces when he handed them keys to a new car. He also gave the guys one year McDonald's gift certificates as a practical joke for Christmas. But we're here, wanted to invite you guys in. Now, every day from December 1st to 20th, if you want to hear more Christmas stories, come to Graceland and enjoy our Christmas tours from 2 to 4 p.m. And we have hotel packages available that give you 20% off your entire Christmas experience, including hotel rooms, as well as your tour of the house. You know, after the video's over, we're going to show you some highlights of past Christmas lightings with a few of the celebrities who helped us light Graceland for Christmas. And I just want to take this opportunity from us here at Elvis Presley Enterprise to wish everyone around the world happy holidays, Merry Christmas, be safe, be healthy, and we're going to see you here in Memphis real soon. Bye for now.